I think the Count Dooku is behind it. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. Hold up, Anakin. Hold up! Nothing makes me more happy than seeing Anakin laugh at a life or death situation. He, like, picks her up and puts Jeez. her arm around the shoulder. I should have known I was bisexual. Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu today. We're doing something a little bit different. I mean, we're always doing something a little bit different and unexpected because I have no consistency ever when it comes to my content, but I've been really wanting to do this for a while. So I've been what I call like a very avid, a very excitable, casual fan of the Star Wars movies for such a long time. This is where debatable parenting might come into play here. Like there there might be some thoughts on my father's decisions. <laughs> uh, let's get into those. So my dad started me off with the prequels. Because of that parenting decision he may or may not have made, I have this unexplainable attachment to the prequels, specifically episode two and three, but like mostly two. <laughs> Most people don't understand it. I have been an apologist of the prequels since before it was cool to do it, you know, because like I know that the, the new Disney Star Wars movies have gotten like a lot of hate and then people are like really backpedaling on how much they hated the prequels. But y'all, y'all were not fans. I have been a fan since day one. Anyway, um, the prequels are the best movies. So sorry. And episode two is my favorite. So that's what we're going to be watching today. And now you might be thinking, oh, you're doing episode two. Where's episode one on your channel? Does not exist. You will not find it. Does not exist. Probably won't do it. I specifically <laughs> want to sit down and watch number two. If if enough people like get on their hands and knees and like beg me and like call me mommy, I like might consider doing episode three for you, but this is my priority. Episode two is who I want. That is where my loyalties lie. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, I'm really excited to be revisiting episode two with you guys because I'm a lot older now than I was when I first watched this and it's been a really long time since I've watched any of the Star Wars movies. Um, now I watch Lord of the Rings like pretty religiously. I'd say at least once once a year. It's a pretty annual thing. I get the craving, you know, I get the urge to rewatch the extended editions. But with Star Wars, I don't usually quite have that same urge, but I had the urge. Today I had the urge. You know why? You know why? Because I have cramps. I am sad, emotional, horny, and tired. It's just a lot's going on, right? And I thought, what would better fix me right now? Like, what would what would make me a happier camper? And the answer is Anakin and Obi-Wan. So th that's what we're doing here today. That's why this video exists. Hope you understand. <laughs> I think I've gotten everything that I needed to off my chest. <laughs> I think it's finally time that we get into the video. Turns out I didn't get everything I needed to off my chest. There's, there's still something else. I just never stop talking, do I? It just never ends. Does it? This commentary video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the beard market. Whether you're a guy with a beard who will do anything to protect those he loves, or whether you're a guy with a beard who will do anything to protect those he loves, or whether you're a guy with a beard who will do anything to protect those he loves, or whether you're a clean-shaven guy who will do anything to protect those he loves, no matter who you are, Manscaped is an option for everyone and their loved ones. And if you and your loved ones have a beard, Manscaped's the Beard Hedger features a powerful 7200 RPM motor. I don't fucking know what that means. And a quality titanium coated T blade design that tackles tough hair in a single stroke. Because the Beard Hedger is waterproof and cordless, people with beards can use it in the shower or at the sink with virtually no messy cleanup. Truly a gift for all of us. Who's this? You guys can head on over to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code TOFU at checkout. Thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring today's movie commentary video. Speaking of which, let's finally get into it. <laughs> I kind of miss when it looked like that. <laughs> I kind of miss this. <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It's like a pleasant jump scare, isn't it? <laughs> I'm always happy to hear it, but it, it does catch me off guard. <laughs> Critical issue of creating an army of the Republic to assist the overwhelmed Jedi. Well, maybe the Jedi wouldn't be so overwhelmed if their standards for themselves weren't so incredibly high. And you know what? If they just lowered those standards just, just a smidge, uh, maybe they wouldn't run into some of the issues that we might 
see them run into shortly. <laughs> oh, seamless transition there. Well, I just, I love the spaceships so much in these movies, <laughs> especially this one. I like the super sleek, shiny ones the most. This one looks like a stainless steel refrigerator too. It's kind of cool. You can almost see the fingerprints on it. This entire planet looks like it's made out of stainless steel. Just a bunch of stainless steel refrigerator type looking buildings. You know what? Maybe, maybe the CG in this movie isn't quite as bad as I remember it being. Maybe, maybe I was too harsh on it. You know, this looks fine. This looks great. I don't know what I was griping about. R2. Doesn't he just look cute? We made it. There was no danger at all. And that make me jump a little. I'm jumpy today. Damn. You know, he really, he really kind of jinxed it, didn't he? Well, looks like there's no danger at all. <laughs> Boom. Some danger. Quite the explosion. <laughs> Look, she has no so shoes and socks on. The explosion exploded her shoes and socks off of her feet. You did your duty. Corday did hers. Rest in peace, Corday. Oh, they're, yeah, they're really just leaving her. Thanks, Corday. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Much appreciated. Master Yoda. Ooh. Maybe I take it back. Maybe there were some CG issues in this. <laughs> Yoda's looking a little... What a great view in this apartment, right? Seeing you alive brings warm feelings to my heart. Oh, that's sweet. Do you have any idea who's behind this attack? She does not care. <laughs> She's like, I don't need warm feelings. I need answers, damn it. I think the Count Dooku is behind it. He is a political idealist, not a murderer. Count Dooku was once a Jedi. He couldn't assassinate anyone. It's not in his character. Wow, the Jedi underestimating a fellow Jedi. That never happens. Wow. May I suggest the senator be placed under the protection of your graces? A note friend like Master Kenobi. Master Kenobi. He's just returned from a border dispute on Antion. It's always a border dispute, isn't it? Do it for me, milady, please. Why is he having to convince her to take the extra security? Like, she was like a few footsteps from the blast radius of the, of the ship blowing up, right? Like, why is, she, why is she giving pushback on this? I don't understand that. The thought of losing you is unbearable. Oh, yes, I'm sure it is. No, you gotta hand it to him. You gotta hand it to Palpatine. Like, he was playing the long game here. No, props to Palpatine. He had, he had a lot of patience in this. You know, I don't think anyone else could have gaslighted, gatekeeped, or girl bust in the same way as successfully as Mr. Palpatine did. <laughs> bravo. Bravo. I mean, not bravo. I'm sorry, you gotta give credit where credit is due, right? <laughs> also, I have some questions on, like, Padme's, like, hair there. Like, she has, like, straight baby hairs all around, like, the border, the edges of her head, and then she has, <laughs> like, her edges are just, like, completely fine, straight hair, and then she just has this really coily, curly, like, hair on top of it. I wonder if it's a hair piece or if they actually painstakingly took like the tiniest little curling iron and just like took this much hair piece by piece. No, not even this much hair. Like this much hair piece by piece and just like curled it like that all over her head <laughs> to give it that much curliness all over. I, I do have some questions for the costume department on that one. I am just genuinely curious. Oh, my boys. Lunch. My boys. Oh, it's our favorite part of these movies. Like, I don't know about y'all, but he's just... Wow, Jar Jar is just my favorite. It's a so smiling to see in your side. I'm not smiling to see you. <laughs> God, it's her outfits are just... Right. So good. Always oh, so they never miss, do they? My goodness, you've grown. So have you from more beautiful, I mean. Well, for a senator, I mean. He's been sus since day one with her, right? And he'll always be that little boy I knew on Tatooine. Yeah, always. Uh-huh. Sure, Padme. I don't need more security. I need answers. Well, Padme, hear me out. You're not gonna get answers if you're dead. Like usually the deceased are unable to receive information you hear me you see where i'm going with this yeah 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 you need to stay alive <laughs> we will find out who's trying to kill you padme we will not exceed our mandate my young padawan learner we will not go through this exercise again anakin why what <laughs> we will do exactly as the council has instructed well, this is awkward for everyone in the room <laughs> There is something charming about the PowerPoint transitions. You know, I'm sorry. I'll say it. I'll say it. Sam, there can be no mistakes this time. I'll be honest. I'll be real. I had a crush on her when I was a kid and I was watching this. It was between her and Anakin. <laughs> they were my faves. Uh, she covered the cameras. She programmed R2 to warn us if there is an intruder. She has programming knowledge? Good for her. Good for her. Women in STEM. Am I right? 
Am I right? I don't think she liked me watching her. Anakin's in his Edward Cullen era, okay? He just, he, he, it may come off as creepy, but it's, all it is is concern, okay? Don't mind it. Don't read too much into it, okay? How is she able to sleep like that? No, for, how? I am literally in the most weird sleeping positions when I sleep, and then she's just like propped up ever so lovely, just like peaceful and pretty, and I'm like, that's not very realistic, is it? Besides, your senses aren't that attuned to my young apprentice. And yours are. Possibly. <laughs> I've always loved their banter. I don't sleep well anymore. He's just like me for real. Because of your mother. <laughs> we both have the mommy issues. Yeah, he's just like me for real. I'd much rather dream about Padme. Just being around her again is intoxicating. <laughs> Who wrote the dialogue for this movie? <laughs> You've made a commitment to the Jedi Order. A commitment not easily broken. Yeah, you're a Jedi. You're not supposed to be horny, Anakin. Get your shit together. So nasty the way they plop on the carpet like that. The Chancellor doesn't appear to be corrupt. <laughs> I think he's a good man. Yeah, such a good man. <laughs> Stay here. What a way to wake up. I love the music here. Oh, it's, it's so good. <laughs> okay, yeah, the green screens or probably used a little too liberally in this. Yeah. <laughs> They're like in every shot, every scene. <laughs> they don't always look the best, but I'm, I'm willing to forgive it, you know, because of how cute everyone is, you know? Priorities, priorities are very important, my people. Her outfit is so cool, dude. <laughs> and she's a sharpshooter. Girls with aim, am I right? Am I right? Women, am I right or am I right? <laughs> Took us so long. I couldn't find a speeder that I really liked. The right color, you know. Hold up, Anakin. Hold up. <laughs> Nothing makes me more happy than seeing Anakin laugh at a life or death situation. Sorry, Master. Oh yeah, he looks really sorry. Oh, this is nothing compared to the pod racing, right? If you'll excuse me. I hate it when he does that. I love it when he does that. He's got such great aim. Damn, his his grip strength too. Ooh, okay, I see you, Anakin. Love that ship right there. <laughs> They're just always cleaning up after each other's messes, aren't they? I've always been such a huge fan of the varied like backdrops for like each planet or each area that we see in Star Wars. There's always just so much variety in the environments. I love that this one's cyberpunk and I like that sometimes we're in sand or sometimes we're in something just kind of more classically modern or like places like Naboo just like scream something about Europe to me, <laughs> like just very European architecture. And like, I, I just love the variety. My ADHD brain just slurps it up. You know? She went into the club, Master. Star Wars, but take a shot every single time someone says Master. Master Yoda. Master Jedi. Master Kenobi. Master Windu. Master. Master. Master Kenobi. Master Kenobi. Master. Master. Don't we, Master? Master. Oh, you know, Master. Master Yoda. Sorry, Master. 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 Sorry, Master. <laughs> I'll be honest. Sometimes I feel like Disney, like, caters its theme parks or some of its stuff toward families or like toward kids like i wish there were more bars like this like i would actually go to bars if they looked like this and if people in it looked like this and dressed like this like i would be so much more likely to become an alcoholic i feel like i would have so much more fun and i would be a much happier person i cannot be the only one who thinks this can you see him i think he is a she and i think she's a changeling yeah respect the pronouns we love it this is why we stay in anakin you know like we can we can excuse the child murder but we draw the line at incorrectly pronouning someone can you excuse child murder yes i can yes i can go and find her where are you going master for a drink priorities <laughs> we love it the way she looks at him honestly same you want to buy some death sticks you don't want to sell me death sticks you want to go home and rethink your life i want to go home and rethink my life you know jedi with their mind tricks would be great therapists great counselors great social workers even except if the jedis turn bad like in count dooku's case <laughs> <laughs> Jedi business, go back to your drinks. The way they were just so smooth about it. <laughs> I love it. Who hired you? Tell us. <laughs> tell us now! <laughs> I'd tell you anything you want to know. Okay, can I be honest with you guys? Can I be 
Can I be forthright? Yeah. When I was like 10 years old watching this movie, the last 20 minutes that we just saw, that entire segment was definitely like some sort of sexual awakening for me. Like, no, no, no. Let me walk you through this. It's something about all the pretty lights um, in the city, something about the sexy car chase scene and the sexy sexy men in the sexy car chase and the sexy sexy woman changeling also in a sexy car space car and then the the the, the, the chase and then the running through the the nightclub the 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 <laughs> the space nightclub and then it's like the way that Anakin tries to find her you know in, in in the nightclub and just like he's slowly like walking around and his shoulders look so broad because of the way uh, the, the 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 cloth and the, the his uniform like drapes over his shoulders he just looks like you know so fit and then and then and then and then and then and then, and then the tension build up like right here like mm 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 Oh my god, the tension. The build up. I can't. That's what Obi-Wan does right here. Yeah! So sexy. And then like the way she like gasps aloud. And then this. Just just this weight. He, like picks her up and puts Jeez. her arm around the shoulder. Everything about that awakened something in me as a 10 year old. And I haven't looked back ever since. Like it just, something about that just did it for me as a 10 year old. And you know what? It does it for me as a 24 year old too. Like we love the character consistency. We love it. Oh, Green springs again. <laughs> I'm in pain. I'm uncomfortable. I'm in agony. I'm sick of them at this point. We're not even that far into the movie and I'm sick of the green screens. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm not going to stop. They've finally given you an assignment. Your patience has paid off. Your guidance more than my patience. You don't need guidance, Anakin. He could have done with a little more guidance, perhaps. <laughs> Just not from you. <laughs> In time, you will learn to trust your feelings. Then you will be invincible. I almost like fell in my chair. Um, sorry, I missed the armrest. Anyway, it's interesting how like the plot just makes sense to me as like an adult versus when I was a child. I was just here for the vibes as a child. I was here for Anakin, you know, as a child. I was here for the pretty lights, the shiny spaceships, and Anakin. That was it. And <laughs> and, I, and I'm still here for those scenes, of course. But I can actually follow the plot and like what's going on. I just I love. I love that feeling when you know your prefrontal cortex just develops and suddenly you're just like a self-aware human like that's super fun a super fun thing that happens in your your mid-20s i just wanted to take a moment to appreciate it you know i think it's really cool how when you watch these back you know after you've seen them and then you like watch this scene you have a completely different perspective of it than like you did probably like on the first viewing of it like you can see the seeds that palpatine is just like sewing here you know and these seeds are gonna pay off too oh, it's just it's just so cool i i love these movies man i'm sorry it will be your responsibility to take my place in the senate lisa accept this with muy muy humility and uh... jar jar i don't wish to hold you up i'm sure you have a great deal to do brilliant diplomat <laughs> even in her interpersonal moments wait are those little robots window cleaners window cleaner robots don't get me wrong, Obi-Wan is a great mentor. He's overly critical, he never listens, he doesn't understand, it's not fair. I love that he's just like venting to her. But I am grown up. The way he like kind of just towers Inside over yourself. her small frame. <laughs> Please don't look at me like that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> sorry, my lady. Oh my god. The way he says, sorry, my lady. <laughs> I do hope he doesn't try anything foolish. Oh, Anakin? <sighs> Never. Obi Wan. Oh, I I like this guy. <laughs> you want to come a jaw with you? I really oh, want to yes, know what jaw you. with you tastes like. Oh, he has such a cool mustache too, doesn't he? Oh my God, this guy looks like he's floating. Look at this. Who did this? <laughs> Who's responsible for this? The shadows just so, something's wrong. This just don't look right. Something about the perspective, something's, something's not quite right here. So this guy looks too big. If this is the actual perspective, if he was standing here, he would appear smaller than this guy here. Maybe that's part of the problem, yeah? But right now it looks like he's either on high ground, or he's like just bigger than this dude, which doesn't make sense from this perspective. He should look smaller than this guy because of this thing here. This woman kind of freaks me out. Like, I think she's evil. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. She just, she gives me evil vibes. I hate to say it, but it looks like the system you're searching for doesn't exist. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. If an item does not appear in our records, it does not exist. There is no war in Bossing Say. <laughs> no droids. Get out of here. 
Oh, I want to be served little pancakes by little robots. Seems like so much fun. Must be difficult having sworn your love to the Jedi. Not being able to visit the places you like or do the things you like. Or do the people you like. <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, you have been changed a bit. You're exactly the way I remember you in my dreams. He just says things, doesn't he? Oh, the younglings. star and all the planets disappeared they had how can this be because someone erased it from the archive memory is the archive memory like wikipedia <laughs> like, like people can just delete things and input things you know for funsies <laughs> like free real estate you can just go in there and start deleting planets if you're if you're in the mood only a jedi could have erased those files but who and why meditate on this i will the next time anyone comes to me with any sort of problem or dilemma, my answer will now be, meditate on this. I will. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Perfect solution. I wasn't the youngest queen ever elected, but now that I think back on it, I'm not sure I was ready. The people you serve thought you did a good job. I think the Republic needs you. I'm glad that you chose to serve. See, I love this backdrop. I think it's so lovely. And I love how, like, gentle they are with one another. They're both very supportive of the other person and encouraging and validating. They like do a lot of validating each other's feelings and goals. Like that's actually really healthy of them. <laughs> what is your suggestion, Master Jedi? Oh, Anakin's not a Jedi yet, but I was thinking- Hold on a minute. Excuse me. I'm in charge of security here, my lady. I think it would be wise if you took advantage of my knowledge in this instance. The, the little glare right there that she gave him speaks to her like that at a turn in front of other people. Damn, she was not super happy about that. I'm questioning her authority there. I love the music here too. The theme for the rainy planet it sounds so foreboding and mysterious. It's just so perfect. I love how everything looks so distinct and unique in the Star Wars universe. And then there's just luggage. There's just suitcases. <laughs> it's kind of funny to know that um, that remains the same in every galaxy in every universe <laughs> oh see like this is this is probably one of my favorite dresses of hers except for one tiny little thing one one little one little nitpick it's the scrunchie in the front that's like holding the front of the dress together something about that rubs me the wrong way something about that irks me why back in my day some of us women some of us girlies would like to do <laughs> we had a little scrunchy hair tie trick and we'd like tie the back of our shirts together like that and then like kind of tuck it underneath to give like so to just cinch our shirts you know and you know to look extra snatched in our jeans and baggy t-shirts baggy t-shirts no more because we'd cinch the heck out of them you know with this particular method now i believe that method deserves so much it has done me so many solids but i don't think it has a place here on padme's beautiful lake dress like i just something about it doesn't sit right with me it doesn't ju it just doesn't fit the vibes are not giving <laughs> it, it's not just remove the scrunchie from the dress and all will be well okay okay here everything is soft <laughs> and smooth the lip bite please oh he is bold bold isn't he like touching her like that giving her the eyes what is the age gap between you two again hmm? everyone's of legal age right better be two hooligans now i don't know about you but this does strike me as an attachment you know i shouldn't have done that oh don't worry girl we've all been there I'm sorry <laughs> his face sends me i'm sorry that is just peak comedy look at this his face he's like i'm sorry i will not be accepting any slander of Padme and Anakin. I'm sorry, I will not be doing it. You know why? Because their love theme song is just so good and they're both so pretty. You can't criticize this sort of performance from them. I'm sorry, you can't do it. I forbid it. Not allowed. Okay, yeah, it's cheesy and the writing's like debatable. The performance is like... See, like, I actually don't know whose fault this was. Is this the director's fault? Is this the writer's fault? I don't, I have a really hard time believing that it's the actor's and actress's fault because 
we know they're good actors. I have to believe this is somehow the doing of George Lucas. Some of the awkwardness, like, it's like cute though. It's like, it's forgivable. I will forgive it, okay? Because, shh, shh. Very impressive. I'd hoped you would be pleased. This is like a conservative's like droids. wet dream or something, you know? Like, look at all the babies, look at all the fetuses. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very enriching environment. Oh, yes. Otherwise a mature clone would take a lifetime to grow. Now we can do it in half the time. They're kids. They should be able to have toys. Where are the colorful toys? And the blankets. To make them less independent than the original host. How ethical are clones, really? Especially in a situation like this, to create armies. Because, like, one school of thought could be, well, like, it's better to, like, have clones die in wars than, like, people who are not clones. But clones can still feel emotions and pain, right? Like, or, or did I miss that somewhere? Like, I'm pretty sure they can still have feelings and they can still hurt. How good is it for us to be sending them to war, you know? Like, I just think a really interesting debate could be had over this. Not with me, though. I don't want to have a debate with anyone over this. Magnificent, aren't they? It is very satisfying the way they all move in unison. No, I take it back. Right. This might be my favorite That's dress well. of hers. The colors are so rich and it just looks so much more, like her hair looks so much more carefree. It's just. His name is Paulo. We were both in the legislative youth program. Dark curly hair, dreamy eyes. All right, I get the picture. <laughs> He's so jealous. You really don't like politicians, do you? I like two or three, but I'm not really sure about one of them. <laughs> the flirting. The, the trouble is that people don't always agree. Well, then they should be made to. Sounds an awful lot like a dictatorship to me. Yeah, it does. If it works. That's a, such a scary piece of foreshadowing, actually. That was like such a scary moment. What? He's just so flippant about it, you know? Oh, to be a girl in floral dress frolicking in the fields. This is the future we all want. I want this. I need this. It is not a want, but a need. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, it's kind of funny the way they were just paused there for so long. They're just like, no laughing, no, no dialogue, just on top of each other, just staring down at one another. It's funny, it's funny, sorry. Is your father here? Sure. <laughs> the stink face he made. I should have known I was bisexual. Okay, whoever did the lighting... They, they knew what they were doing for this scene. It looks good. They look good. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit. I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. It's so bad. It's so bad, it's good. Sorry, sorry. I, like, I refuse criticism. If you're suffering as much as I am, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> we could keep it a secret. I couldn't do that. Could you, Anakin? Could you live like that? He's like, hell yeah, I could. No. Mm hmm. They are so angsty, aren't they? No. Well, no. You see, that, that right there is the female gaze. A man tortured, haunted by nightmares, trying to sleep, failing to do so, and uh, unclothed. <laughs> while he's going through it all. The female gaze. I saw my mother. She is in pain. I have to help her. It's like so hard for me to focus and care about like Annie's mother and that whole situation when like Padme just looks so pretty during that entire scene. Like, sorry, that's on y'all. <laughs> oh, getting kinky, are we? <laughs> that little jump into a roll thing. That was pretty cool. There's the stainless steel refrigerator. See what I mean about the varied environments though? Now we're in Sandland. <laughs> oh, what a gentleman. Oh, the little things in the background are so cute. I feel like Star Wars has always excelled with creating like cute things. I thought we've been tracked. We'll have a couple of surprises for you. <laughs> <laughs> the slightly evil laugh from like the child. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That made such a cool sound. I love the sound it makes! Those huge explosions in the rocks. Damn. Pass Justin the spare pod canisters. We won't be seeing him again. They really have no faith in us, do they? <laughs> There's an unusual concentration of Federation ships over there, R4. 
little sounds are for me. Come me, me, It's so cute. Hello. How might I be of service? The makeup of Master. My Annie. heart. I love the crop top Padme's wearing. No, I love everything she wears, but that is an especially cute outfit. Some of the outfits she wears, like, make me think of raves, like rave fashion, you know? The sleeves and everything, too. Where are you going? Find my mother. Your mother's dead, son. Accept. I won't be long. The swell of the music. Oh, I'm a sucker for it every time. It gets me every time. <laughs> the music. All right. I'm awake. I'm sitting up in my chair. Straight spined. I'm interested now. You know, whoever composed that particular theme, they put their entire compussy into that piece. <gasps> I love these guys. They're so funny. <laughs> oh, the stupid little droids. They are so funny. They are a hoot every single time. The Jedi will be overwhelmed. He does such a good villain, doesn't he? Between Saruman and Dooku and like, was it Willy Wonka's? father and Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory like he does such a good villain <laughs> how convenient that he like the first tent he chose was the one that she's in he must have used the force to feel his way around which tent is she in mm, the, no this no this this one this one right here you look so handsome. Wait, not me tearing up. No, I'm getting the nose tinglies. I, I love... <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way she flopped. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm good. Something made me giggle because I, I was starting to be a little too up in my feels. You know, I needed that. I needed that. A little tension breaker. <laughs> I'm glad that she got to see him, you know, one last time before she passed. Oh yeah, he's a little pissed. Isn't he? <laughs> what a transition. Is the shade also a CG background? Why did that look so weird when he was sitting down? Everything's a fucking green screen, dude. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a green screen too. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Please give me a real backdrop, a real background. I'm, I'm I am so deprived right now. I'm running on fumes. Give me, give me something real, please. I'm begging. I'm on my hands and knees begging you for a non-green screen background now. Maybe this is real. Do you think it's real? I'm like looking at his hair outline, trying to figure out whether or not this this rock behind him is real or not. Do you know why I think they're so cute? Do you know why I think the little R2 droids are so cute? Because they sound like Animal Crossing villagers. <laughs> <laughs> Anakin, he's not on Naboo R4. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Oh yeah, nothing nothing's happened to him. Just all beans around him. What's wrong, Annie? He's grieving. They're like animals. And I slaughtered them like animals. The Imperial March in the background there. Ooh. Ooh. See, if I was Padme, I would be running in the opposite direction. I would not be staying for discourse here. <laughs> I would not be staying for comfort. I'd be, I'd be dipping. I I'd be out. <laughs> would not stay here a moment longer than necessary. You know, this sort of thing really makes me think that the Jedi did not have like appropriate emotional support for their Padawans like available. <laughs> like no, no mental health services no emotional support like i know obi-wan has always done the best he could with anakin given the system that like he has to bring anakin up in and i think the jedis i think they're just such a flawed ideology ultimately it kind of didn't work but i just think whenever we expect perfection out of people we're going to be disappointed and we can either have like systems in place to manage and temper i guess uh, disappointment or to lessen the consequences of fallout but like i feel like the jedi just don't have anything in place they're just like be perfect be better that's it that's all you need to know <laughs> and nothing else will go wrong um if you're a jedi or have once been a jedi you're set good to go nothing can ever go wrong but as we see several things do indeed go wrong <laughs> i just think the jedi are so rigid in the structures that they have 
in place actually is what marks their own downfall. <laughs> their inability to be flexible. Maybe if Anakin had better learned how to like get a grip on his emotions in healthier ways, he would not like go on little murder rampages and slaughter children. <laughs> like, you know? I feel like the Jedi's approach is just so outdated. It's just so, it's, it's very boomer, right? It's very like, just grow up. Just like, get a grip. Just deal with it. Just man up. And it's, that's not how people work. That's not how emotions work. You can't just stuff them down and then expect nothing to ever result from them. They'll never come back up and bubble to the surface. That's not how emotions work. They always manage to find their way out of you, you know, no matter how much you try to bottle them. They always find a way uh, to come up to the surface. So it's not effective. It's not an effective uh, method of emotional regulation. It's just to be told to ignore it and then like just be better and then be perfect. I wasn't strong enough to save you, Mom, but I promise I won't fail again. Mm, you can't fail again. She's not revived. She can't die twice, Anakin. Let's take a moment to appreciate another one of Padme's outfits here, y'all. You know what? This is, oh, this is such clever, like, placement of do you see the ribbing right kind of like it's like on the nipple right like it's like a little pocket but not a pocket it's just like an extra square fabric that's like placed directly like the point of it is directly placed like on the nipple and then like around so like she doesn't have to like really wear a bra um with this so you don't have the lines of a bra but like it conceals something that might not have been appropriate for like the younger audience that this might have been like because it's pg-13 right like maybe maybe they have a problem with nipples just like being on display in white outfits i don't know i certainly don't but that, i digress like this is such clever like placement here of you know a piece of fabric over another piece of fabric to give the illusion that like <laughs> It's just a clever use of fashion, you know? There's techni- like, technically there's something covering. Okay, so it's clever on this, on this side of her chest. Maybe a little less clever on this side of the chest. I think it got, like, a little uncentered there, because you can very clearly see the nipple right there. <laughs> but right here, do you see how on this side, it, like, perfectly kind of disguises the nipple because of that extra piece, the extra square of fabric. Um, I do believe it was supposed to be perfectly centered so as to, like, cover them both a little bit better than this nipple is covered right here. Um, but I think it just, like, got misaligned because we move in clothes, right? And when we move in clothes, they shift around. And I think this is just shifted off kilter ever so slightly so that one of them looks a little more covered than this one. But it's such a clever design. Genosis what are they talking about? Well, you heard Master Windu. He gave me strict orders to stay here. When have you ever followed orders? And I'm going to help Obi-Wan. If you plan to protect me, you'll just have to come along. Aww. The Senate will never approve the use of clones before the Separatists attack. The Senate must vote the Chancellor emergency powers. If only Senator Amidala were here. That was some very purposeful manipulation, me thinks. Misa thinks. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? No, that's not possible. The Jedi would be aware of it. The Jedi are fucking stupid, Obi-Wan. You must join me, Obi-Wan. I will never join you, Dooku. Dooku's like, well, that was worth a shot. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I love democracy. <laughs> I love the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sounds so convincing. Mm hmm Look, whatever happens out there, follow my lead. I'm not interested in getting into a war here. Don't worry. I've given up trying to argue with you. Oh, we love men like him. <laughs> I am programmed to understand humans. What does that mean? Uh, that means I am in charge here. Where are you going now? Oh, idiot. <laughs> I love their bickering so much. Brings me so much joy. Ah uh, yes, this isn't a trap at all. This is one of my favorite parts, you guys. <laughs> oh, it just got crushed! Some of you must have done the same thing I did when I was a kid. Like, you'd have favorite parts of the movie and you'd rewatch those parts exclusively for me. It was the next, like, 40 minutes of this movie and the, like, the first 20 minutes of this movie. So, like, we're talking car chase, changeling sequence, and we're talking 
the the almost crushed sequence and then the arena sequence like those were my favorite i just rewatched those and i'd skip everything else <laughs> in the movie and i just watched those because they, they were my favorite for some reason and i feel like it's still gonna hold true this would actually be such a fun level in a video game right right i'd get crushed I'd, i would need so many attempts i really would <gasps> Almost there. You get your chance at all. I'm scrap. <laughs> I'm scrap. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, poor thing. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. C3PO. <laughs> and then there's just R2. It's the fucking jets. <laughs> oh, that is so unfair. <laughs> I wonder what happened to poor little R2. He's always getting himself into trouble. <laughs> You're always getting yourself into trouble, too. <laughs> I love this part. I love this part. <laughs> the way he has to maneuver his body so he doesn't get crushed. Not again. Obi Wan's gonna kill me. I love some of the cheese in this. I really do. I love the roly crab robots with guns. It's such a cool character design, you know, or enemy design. They just spin and then they're like. Pff, pff. I love it. Oh, this is actually such a good scene. Okay, this is Don't this is a really good scene. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not afraid to die. I've been dying a little bit each day since you came back. It's like so melodramatic, but so good, okay? I love you. I thought that we had decided not to fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's such a pretty scene. The CG, like, takes a little bit from it there because the lighting situation. But like, it's so good. <laughs> Their theme playing up. Obi Wan's like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> then we decided to come and rescue you. Good job. <laughs> That's one of my favorite moments. <laughs> I love that it has a nose ring and black lipstick. <laughs> and he just ate one of the handlers. What about Padme? She seems to be on top of things. She can get on top of this dick. I mean. Yeah, she's on top of things. 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 Oh, it's my favorite part. It's my favorite part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Me in the kitchen at 2 a.m. <laughs> trying to squish a cockroach. I keep missing it. I'm literally paper towel in my hand trying to squish this fucking cockroach and I keep it keeps evading me. That's that's exactly what that scene is. <laughs> These poor handlers. <laughs> Their life insurance policy is good. <laughs> I'm sorry, nuts or no nuts? I feel like that would really hurt one's crotch, you know, that sort of jumping landing like that you know <laughs> there's gonna be some bruises on the cooch the next morning <laughs> Django, finish her off i mean i wouldn't mind if Django finished me off you know just saying it's the roly poly guys oh i love them and their little guns they're so cute <laughs> i'm sorry where is the security for the bad guys like do they not hire security <laughs> I love femme Jedis. It makes me so happy. You're impossibly outnumbered. So why didn't he just like kill some of these guys when he had the advantage? You know, like they were unsuspecting. He could have chopped off multiple of their heads. And he just didn't and decided to have a lovely little conversation. He decided to play a little bit of catch up with Count Dooku. I don't know why he did it. Why didn't you just start murdering them? <laughs> I love that they brought extra lightsabers. It's very smart of them. He looked a little funny running there. I don't know what it is. It looked a little funny though. <laughs> I'm breaking the etiquette of destruction. Oh, three of you. I love that he has a purple lightsaber. It's so cool. I don't want a purple lightsaber. No, I want a hot pink lightsaber. That's what I want. Oh, that is so extra. <laughs> he did with a gun, a little twirl. Good job, Space Rhino. Good job. No! Rest in peace, Space Rhino. 
<laughs> Dooku looking mildly concerned right there. Die, Jedi guys! <laughs> what did I say? 3PO might be the best part of this movie. <laughs> I love the grin that he has right there. He's like, yeah, I did it. I used the force to knock him over and make them fall down. He's so proud, it's so cute. Alternatively, if you would like another fun drinking game, take a shot every time I say something's cute. Doesn't he just look cute? Cute as ever, cute everyone is. It's like cute though. It's just cute, okay? Background are so cute. Cute things. So cute. Especially cute outfit. They're so cute, droids are so cute. Pretty cute. They're so cute. So cute. It's so cute. That should get you where you wanna go. You call this a diplomatic solution? No, I call it aggressive negotiations. Oh, very cute, you two. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Without legs. Oh, stop that! You'll get restrained something. My leg! Look, this is such a drag. Drag. Get it? Drag. No, it's so funny that they're doing that and there's just like chaos in the background and then they're just, there's just this. <laughs> I'm quite beside myself. <laughs> beside myself. They're my favorite comic relief. Probably in any movie ever. Oh, when I was a kid, I thought this was so creepy. Because his dad's head is probably still in that helmet, right? And he just picks it up, the, deca de deca the, the, the decapitated head, and just like... It freaks me out. Still to this day, it bothers me. I would never do that. I've never picked up my father's decapitated head in a helmet and like hold it. Not for me. Thank you, though. Aim right above the fuel cells. Good call, my young Padawan. He's always got to add the young Padawan part, doesn't he? <laughs> got to make sure the other person knows they are beneath you. I feel like the enemies just have such cool weapons and cool types of machinery. Like, they almost deserve to win. They're so creative. They look like different kinds of bugs and animals. Like, it just looks cool. <laughs> I will take the designs with me to Coruscant. They would have been much safer. <gasps> Death Star. I guess that entire battle is where the entire CG budget went for this film, right? Definitely wasn't this scene. I'm sorry, he looks so goofy. <laughs> he looks so goofy riding on this thing. <laughs> I love that Padme just stands there looking hot for a lot of this. I I aim to have that sort of purpose and role in my life as it continues, you know? Padme! Put the ship down! Don't let your personal feelings get in the way! Everyone definitely Don't knows, yeah. You know. I can't take Tuku alone! I can't leave her! Come to your senses! What do you think Padme would do with she in your position? She would do her duty. It's really cool that Obi-Wan was able to kind of talk Anakin down in that situation. Because Anakin's not like too far gone at this point, right? Anakin's just like so impulsive. You know what? There's actually so many similarities between Anakin and like Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, you know? They're just so similar in terms of like spirit. We'll take him together. You're going slowly on the left. Taking him now! No, Anakin, no! Oh, impulsivity again. No! <laughs> I can't take him alone. Well, you're gonna have to now. Back down. I don't think so. Okay, be a little assertive. Why don't you? I don't mind. Lightsaber fights are so sexy in the prequels. You can't argue with me on that. Just Anakin moaning. <laughs> I'm Padme moaning. Everyone's moaning. Just a little bit of moaning everywhere. You know what? I don't mind. Continue as you will. Don't mind me. As you were. You better get back to the forward command center. No. No. I love a person who's not afraid to just say no, and that's the end of their sentence. No. 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 He just goes through lightsabers so quickly, doesn't he? <laughs> I love the light changes there. I love how the blue and the red illuminate their faces in the different shots. Yeah, his positioning wasn't great there. <laughs> he kind of left himself a little open. At least you get like a clean clean chop with the lightsabers, you know, it cauterizes it, so you're not, like, excessively bleeding out. <laughs> so badass. I love the little furry green monster. So he's a cane to walk everywhere, and then when he's in combat, he can just flip around his opponent, and he's still such an adept warrior. Oh, God, look, he's just twirling. <laughs> I love being able to see Yoda just pop off, you know? He goes back to using his cane. I love how they're just like openly embracing in front of everyone, despite the fact that they're like not allowed. Like they're not even trying to hide it from even Yoda 
are they? What a beautiful sunset for such an evil looking planet, right? Without the clones, it would not have been a victory. Master Obi Wan, not victory. Maybe it wasn't a victory, but it wasn't like a complete and utter defeat either, you know? Come on, Yoda, be more optimistic. <laughs> actually exists in real life because if i ever got married i want to get married right there i would walk down the aisle to this music to this theme too oh my god wouldn't that be iconic though i love that 3po and r2 were their witnesses oh it's such a beautifully framed shot oh everything was done by george lucas oh he was the executive producer too. Well, what didn't he do? Oh, I guess he wasn't the director of photography. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is the end of the conclusion to our reaction of Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. I feel like the movie has not aged well in some respects, but it's almost like aged enough that some of the cheesiness is a lot more endearing than it used to be. What do you guys think? I feel like that's kind of the case. Even like the kind of terrible CG at some points is like almost forgivable because the movie's gotten so much older now that it just feels just kind of cute. <laughs> I've always looked through the lens of like nostalgia on this one. So I'm actually really happy to report that it still holds up pretty well for me, all things considered. And I think I'll still be rewatching it in the future, maybe just a lot more frequently. <laughs> I had such a good time being able to like revisit this movie with you guys please let me know your thoughts on whether or not i should do rewatches of the other star wars movies i don't think i'm opposed to it necessarily i mean if you guys would like me to do it i'm sure something could be arranged but um in general it's not necessarily like on my pressing to-do list because there's so many movies that we haven't seen i really had the urge recently to rewatch this specific one because it was my favorite as a little girl and um i thought why not do that with y'all why not sit down and record it if i was gonna rewatch it anyway i mean maybe it could be really fun for us to like revisit all the star wars together but um if you guys want like to kind of just like move on and let this be a one-time thing i'm totally okay with that and uh, just let me know what your other like recommendations are for movies mad max fury road and the new batman movie have been on my to-do list for like a while so i definitely will be getting to those i think especially as the new year approaches and we get into it i've also been rethinking about like watching avatar you know because like the new one comes out soon and i'm like wondering like would you guys be interested in that if not we can watch another james cameron movie because i don't i think he did a terminator and i haven't seen any of those and i think he also did Aliens uh, with Sigourney Weaver and I haven't seen that either and I would love to see a badass woman I'm assuming kill aliens for like two hours that sounds like a great time so let me know if you'd be interested in anything thank you guys so much for joining me on this fun little excursion um, into the past <laughs> until the next episode of whatever we're doing I hope you guys have a great day bye guys you know whoever composed that particular theme they really composed their compose compussy <laughs> they really ate <laughs> composer a c composer a c compussy compo pussy compussy compussy com compussy they put their entire compussy into that piece